Hey guys, welcome to The Real Deal. It's Seth. And Logan. So we are doing the Toronto International Film Festival. Uh, we just finished our second movie and it's called The Humans. It's based on the play of the same name by Stephen Karam, who also wrote and directed the film. And it is so fucking good. It's really, really good. Um, so it's, okay, so the, before I get into it, it's about this family on Thanksgiving and their daughter is moving to New York, so they're moving her in to this shitty duplex that's like a pre-war condo, or pre-war duplex in uh, Manhattan, right? Uh, it's in Chinatown. They say it's in okay. Chinatown. Which is in Manhattan, I think. I have no yeah. idea. Um, but so yeah, it takes place there and it all is just inside this apartment the entire time. So it's got this claustrophobic feel to it. Um, and so basically it turns, it's, I don't want to call it a horror film, but it is a horror film in some ways because it deals with this family, uh, who, I mean, they really love and care for each other, obviously, but they, there's things that they keep from one another and like, there's little conversational things that they say where they're picking at each other and it's just very real and it, it feels like I was at home for Thanksgiving <laughs> and but it, they, they do a really good job about representing each person and like a, each person is a realized person so it's not just like these caricatures of a family or like you have the, the doting Jewish mother who's super religious sure but like it's like she's a real person and so there's some things that go on and there's some secrets and stuff like that that just build and the tension builds and it's shot in such a beautiful way that we're kept at arm's length a lot of the times because we are also in the dark uh I, I don't know i just I, I think it's a perfect movie um and the acting is incredible um jane i don't know how to say her last name hootie shell is the mother and she is my favorite performance i've seen in like two years um which is saying something She's so, 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 so good, and I want her to get an Oscar, and I don't want people to ignore this, so please watch this movie. Um, what do you think? I liked it. One thing I was nervous about is when you watch these movies that are based off plays, is sometimes you can really tell they're based off plays. Like, they feel different. I don't know. If, yeah. Um, yeah. And this one did a really, really good job of it does not do that. Um it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like it at all. Yeah. It, it just feels like a movie, um, which I really like, because that's, that's sometimes my complaint with these movies is you can tell they're from a play put on the big screen and this did not feel that way at all. If I had not known it was from a play, I would not have known at all. Uh, yeah, I, at first, I'll be honest, I wasn't a huge fan. It's so real that it's uncomfortable for me. Um, but... It, it definitely makes up for it. So there, I, well, I don't think it makes up for it. Not makes up for it. I'm saying like at, at some point, I definitely got really invested and then I really liked it. Um, it sets up like the whole family. They're just having that like boring ass conversation that you yeah. have with your family, but it's also like like nitpicking at each other and stuff like that. But all the conversation, like even like the boring stuff that feels like it doesn't mean anything at the beginning, there's like little phrases or like little lines that build and build to like an incredible climax. It was overwhelming. And I cried like multiple times in this movie. Um, it, it, camera work, it, it's incredible in this and it doesn't ever focus on who you think it's going to be focused on because like, so some person will be saying something and you would think that we would want to see their reaction right. and stuff, but we're focusing on like Richard Jenkins reaction or Jane Hootie shell or was it? Yeah. And like, there's a scene at a dinner table towards the end, and you like it, it like hints that the dinner is going to be a big thing, but it, it is one of my favorite scenes I've ever seen in a movie. And the camera just rotates around the table the entire time, and they're literally just going around saying what they're thankful for. But it's so unnecessarily tense that I like I I, I don't know. It, it was incredible, and like they focus on certain people that need to be focused on that you don't and you don't realize. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. I, I know what you mean. Because I mean, like, the, in the, even towards the beginning, there's a part where uh, Beanie Feinstein and Feldstein. Feldstein, I'm sorry, and Amy Schumer are talking. I don't remember what they're talking about, um, but they're standing in the bathroom talking, and the shot is the doorknob. Mm. 
and it sounds doesn't sound that cool, but it's really well done. Yeah, and it somehow makes sense. I don't. I can't. I can't put it into words, but it makes sense when you watch the movie that it's not just showing them; it's just showing the doorknob. Uh, so yeah, I know what you mean. Like the it, whole film is like contemplating mortality and like this rundown apartment, and like we're they'll be talking and we won't even be seeing them. We'll be focusing on like the stains of the ceiling or like mm -hmm. things falling apart. And it's literally because that's what's happening in the conversation. And, but it's not done in such like an overbearing, like art house way. It just, everything makes sense. And they focus on all the right things at all the right times. And there's a lot to do with like PTSD and stuff that you maybe don't expect, but like, God damn it. The finale was so good. Oh my like, God. The last, the last shot, I don't want to spoil it, but I was like, okay, mm -hmm. this is this is how you should end a movie like mm -hmm. this. This is a, I don't want to say it's a perfect ending, just in no, general, but I'm saying for this movie, it's the perfect ending. Yeah, uh, it's so well done. It's so, it's, I yeah, it's so good. I think there's very few times you come across a, a perfect film that everything happens at the right time and builds to the right climax and every conversation pays off and there's no filler and this is one of those movies for me at least and i freaking love it uh the cast is great there's only six people in the cast beanie feldstein stephen yen richard jenkins jane hootieshell amy schumer and june squibb and amy schumer is so good in this so good and it's like not a con i mean she gets some i mean she is funny she's funny in a way that you're funny with your family yeah like uh not in a over-the-top funny way just in a you know, you're the you're the person, your family that makes jokes and, and laughs and yeah. stuff, um, but in a really believable way. And uh, she's very restrained. Yeah. And yeah, I want to see more of her and stuff like this. But yeah, um, June Squibb does great. Oh. She she doesn't. If you really think about it, though, she really doesn't have. I don't want to say she doesn't have much to do, but for a lot of the film, she doesn't really do anything. But she does such a good job. So she, I, I don't think it's a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. She has, I mean, it doesn't really say, but she has like some sort of mental disease, like dementia or Alzheimer's. And they do such a good job about focusing on her or just leaving her in the background because that's what, I mean, that's what happens. Like she's literally, like all this stuff is going around and you should, but she's still in the shot, just sitting there. I, I, there's some really profound things that happen in this. I don't want to like keep, I just don't want to spoil anything. I want everybody to watch this fucking movie, but yeah, I loved it. I hope everybody sees it. I hope nobody forgets about this kind of word season. But definitely should win SAG Ensemble. But I just want Hootie Shell to win the Oscar. <laughs> I don't even know she if I did her name. a really, really good job. It's like a perfect performance. It, like, her, it br I don't know. It like made me think about my family and like all this stuff. And I'm sitting here contemplating like what I've done wrong and like shit like that. I'm sitting here just crying and hiding behind Well, and head. I was watching it like I don't mm. know many people that there's not something in this movie that you can relate to or you can latch on to. Yeah. Um, it, it's very it, conversational. Yeah, but. well, and what I was gonna say is like, it's the all-American family th that everyone can can see themselves in at some character, some point, some conflict, whatever. Yeah. Uh, there's something in it that, you're, that you can kind of put yourself into this movie. Yeah, it's very relatable. Even the bad things. <laughs> Even the bad things, absolutely. But yeah, so we'll shut up now. But I love this movie, definitely watch it. Um, I don't know when it's coming out, I think it's November. But go see it in theaters, because it's so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm giving this, all right, do you want to score it, or no? Uh, no, you can go ahead though. I know, you, I know what your uh -huh. score is, so. I am giving it a 100. I loved it, I think it's fucking perfect. So definitely go watch it. Thanks, guys. Bye.